Okay, so you have a VT100 and you want to look inside. So let's take it apart and see what's in there. In the keyboard, there are no screws to open it. You just use the included guitar picks to pry open the case. And then inside you'll find several layers. There is a custom PCB. On the back is a Teensy 4.1. There's a little daughter board on top that has the LEDs on top. And there is a couple other layers. There's a little rubbery layer. There's a layer that has all of the keycaps in it. There's the keyboard bezel. And together you can see that's all the layers. So let's start. That little area where I was pointing is where you will find your haptic motor glued in. This is a prototype, so it's not glued in, but yours will be glued into the case there. So when you're taking it apart, be careful. And when you're putting it back together, be sure that the wires for the haptic motor are out of the way and that the PCB is seated nicely next to the case. That rubbery sheet of silicone gets put on there. I'm pointing at the holes where the little pegs go. And you can see those little uh, tan pegs in that layer that's going on now. Make sure that the LED daughter board is not trapped underneath that black layer with the keycaps in it. And then the uh, the bezel goes on top, and then the lid goes on, and you it's a snap fit. So you snap it all together, make sure that the USB cable is set. And then uh, sometimes some of the keycaps will get a little out of space, so you need to set them. Okay, let's open up the terminal case. And again, no bolts or nuts or anything necessary. You just use the two, in this case, uh, guitar picks to open it up. There's a USB cable. There is a little display, 3.5 inch diagonal LCD. It comes with an HDMI cable and a little power USB cable. And there is an audio uh, jack and there is also a um, connector if you want to put a USB, I mean, want to put a Raspberry Pi directly on it. So this port uh, on the back, you've got a USB port and then you also have a serial port that goes to an elbow. And then that is where you mount the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi will fit inside like that. And you need to be careful that it's pointed the right way. So let's take out the little bracket that holds the Raspberry Pi or whatever small board computer you want to use. These are 2.5 uh, M nuts inside that little bracket. And so you just use any 2.5 uh, M screws to connect your small board computer. Make sure that the ports are to the top and to the right, like I was pointing. So that is the pass through to the back port. That's where the keyboard will be plugged in. So that's connected into the SBC. And it's easier to do that before you screw in the SBC. So you line up the SBC with these bolts on the bottom and then screw the bracket in. And now you can see it's in. And uh, the USB cable that powers the SBC just goes in the back. Here I'm hooking up the display power that also gets plugged into your SPC. And then there is the HDMI cable for the display information. And that is pretty much it. So that little serial port there is there if you want to use the back serial port to connect as if it's a real terminal. So you'll need a, um, a serial port to USB connector if that's something that you want to do. Okay, that is what goes on inside the little one third scale VT100 terminal. Thank you to everybody who bought one, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you don't have one, I hope you enjoy just seeing what's inside there. I had a lot of fun making it. If you would like your own tiny retro computer, check out store.transmutable.com. This is Trevor Flowers, signing off.